Good evening and welcome back. Here we are in the semi-final and we're playing Atletico Madrid. Full strength lineup today. We're not going to make any changes. Teixeira and Arcas on upward arrows, but I'm going to leave them on the bench for now. Mudrik's unfortunately had to drop out of the squad altogether just because he's on a downward red. But as you can see, a full strength lineup going into this massive semi-final. So here you are in the Stadio Orion, is it? In the semi-final of the Copa del Rey. Looking to make another final. Let's jump straight into it. We've had some good wins recently. Some good performances. Some not so great ones as well. But um, being winning, that's all that matters. Could be in here. Carlos Perez. Oh, and that's just overshot a little bit. But he could get in. Here's Martinelli. Oh, deflects into the keeper's arms. Real couple of half chances there. Should have uh, at least got a shot and goal. Lovely play by Costner. That's not a foul. Oh, come on, ref. That's a very good tackle. Chance here, though. They certainly didn't make the most of that. Here's Cousins. Now back at... Cousins again. Manchester to slip through the defence here. Cousins. Oh, it's well wide and over. Didn't really have much support. So I thought might as well go for it. And he uh, can strike the ball well. Not that time. Oh, nice play there. Good defending by Emerson. And a good ball out to Carlos Perez. Cousins seen plenty of the ball early on. Castro Martinelli. Martinelli in now. Oh, it's a wide. Well, anyone being on the ball, you'd want it to be Martinelli in that area. Great reverse pass from Castro. Oh, just wide. I went for power. Well, it's definitely an open game. I know Atletico Madrid haven't really created a chance yet, but they've looked at least partially threatening an attack. They're not just sitting back and defending. Oh, hits the post, and it's in. Well, could there be an upset in the cords and Dest's cause? Don't know what he's doing at uh, Madrid. Baka should have uh, challenged for that. I mean, they get a bit lucky that the ball comes back directly to him, but um, it was a well worked move. Lovely ball in. And yeah, you see Baka there, he just didn't go for the header. And yeah. Dest would not be an expected score, I wouldn't think. Didn't even know he was playing, to be honest. <laughs> um, definitely causing trouble, though. And they're getting the run of the ball a little bit. You see little bounces here and there. Obviously the goal, but little things like that can make a big difference. Oh, but Carlos Perez... Oh, surely that was onside. That's onside. Well, that was unlucky. I thought I had timed it absolutely perfectly. And that's what I mean about 50, 50 things are not quite going away so far. Nice play by Perez. What support has he got, though? Nah. Just no support. Try to play in a ball with my weaker foot, but far too close to the keeper. Nice header by Kosinu. I've got it all to do though. That's a poor ball. I was trying to play it to Vieira. Good tackle. And he comes away with it as well. Castro. I'm not sure why that was uh, played there. 
And I thought they had kicked it off, but they get a throw in. Could this be an upset and going out the semi-final stages? Nice tackle by Kosanu. But then, oh, they got lucky there. They made a very bad uh, sort of back pass there. Vieira. Now Perez. Castro. Back to Perez. Got space here. Perez. And he said it well wide. Oh, an awful finish. What is going on today? We're getting the chances. Nice tackle from Herrera there. Not a good pass though. And that was not where I was playing it at all. Herrera gets it back. We need to, you know, get some passes together. That's better. Out wide to back it. Bit of space to run here. He needs support though, and he's not getting it. Yara, Martinelli. Oh, again, unlucky. Castro, oh, outside of the post. Oh. I'm not sure how we haven't scored yet. Got a little bit unlucky, but got it back. Lovely attempt to finish. I just hope it's not going to be one of those days. Obviously, the more we'll push, the more likely they are to get a decent counter-attack. They've looked pretty threatening. Oh, nice ball. Oh, somehow that didn't... That's got to be a foul. How did that ball... I don't know how they deflected that. And that's offside. Yeah, I do feel like it's one of those... Um, Games where their AI is sort of... What is going on there? That's... <laughs> it's literally not doing anything I want it to do. Um, I'm passing to certain players. And it's just... Strange. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, possession fairly equal. I would say we were definitely the more dominant team. But Madrid did look dangerous on the counter. Need to improve massively. I know we, I would say we were probably the better team, or create the more chances rather, not necessarily better in quality. Monelli, how did he get in there? Monelli's so quick. Nice play by Herrera. Now Vieira. And how is that not a foul? Vieira, oh, it hits the post. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty though. And I don't know where Herrera gone. That's who I was trying to pass to. Herrera. Martinelli. Oh, what a save. Perez. How has that not gone in? <sighs> what is going on here? How is that a goal kick? That is never a goal kick. What? The keeper literally... Hey, nothing is going our way. Oh, what a pass it is. Vieira, Castro. Nah, they're just going to get everything on that. How oh, didn't Herrera... The ball's literally going for my players and the ball is just 
being a magnet towards theirs. Every time I play a pass through, it's uh, somehow they're blocking it. Here's Perez. Martinelli. Oh, come on. That's, that should be a red card. I was literally through on goal. Let's have a look at some subs. Okay, so we're going to bring Arcas in for Fabio Vieira. That's a big controversial move, but he's on an upward arrow. Teixeira is coming at left back, and we're going to bring Ambergere at right in place of Carlos Perez, who's actually played pretty well. Just got to make some changes or we're losing, and Vieira, you know, one of our star players, he just not, hasn't quite been on it today. Oh, hit the crossbar. What is going on with this game? If I don't win this game. Uh. I got very lucky there. Ruben Castro. Ah, uh, Bajer was in there. He was free. And again, they get the block. <sighs> yeah, skip, skip, skip. Not long left now. And the bring on Mbappe. Great. Here's Martinelli. How much has he got left to give? Oh, that's a shocking pass. That well, could be a lovely ball to Castro. Oh, come on! Is that a penalty? That is not outside the box. Please say that's not outside the box. That's inside the box. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. I, I've got no words. That was inside the box. Oh. Oh. I thought that was going to go in the top corner there. That would have been some goal to equalise. Right, we're going all out attack now. Just haven't got a choice. 20 minutes left. Nice play, it was there, but somehow Saul, who's absolutely out on his legs, and Bajer's fresh legs, he just sprints it like a million miles an hour ahead of him. Bajer. Now Arcas, Cousins, Castro, straight at the keeper. That was the chance. And that's just way, way up in the air. We need that uh, good tackle up. Arcas, come on, what can you do? Here's Martinelli. Castro. Castro again. <sighs> How? Arcas. Ah. Uh. I didn't actually try and shoot there. I'm not sure what happened. I may have pressed the wrong button. I was actually trying to pass it. Nice ball up to Martinelli, but for some reason... 
He wouldn't let me change to him, and he wasn't running. And this could be danger. This is the danger. Could easily get caught in the counter attack. Come on, Orcas. Bejer now. Oh, lovely ball through to Cotonou. Oh, Cotonou. Oh. What is Cotonou doing? I know I'm going all out of attack, but I didn't expect him to be there. And he's missed it. Oh, he just had to hit the target. Oh, we failed to hit the target so many times today. We've hit the woodwork many times. Can't even count, actually. Bajer. Through to Castro. What was that touch? <sighs> and that's going to be it, I think. Ugh. Absolutely heartbroken with that. How we didn't win that game. Yeah, I mean, possession, fair enough. We've had a bit more, but look at that. 15 shots with only five on target. I've got to say, though, it felt like one of those scripted games. It really did. And I know Pez players will know what I'm talking about. Even FIFA players, you know, you get those games where you can just tell it's scripted for you to not win. You know, they had one decent chance, I would say, and they scored off it coming back off the post. That's fair enough. But everything else that happened, you know, how many times did we hit the crossbar on the post? The fact that we should have had a penalty that was definitely inside the box. You know, the defender was in the box when he made the tackle. His legs were in the box. Strange game, but definitely felt scripted. And rating-wise, <laughs> their keeper was man of the match. Not really surprised. Although, he didn't have to make too many saves. He made a couple of good saves. It was really us missing the target that's on us you know that's on me and should have done better in the end and i didn't but that's it for this week guys the next match another big match it's the first leg of the quarter final away to arsenal then back in the league and then the second leg at home so some massive matches coming up obviously a bit of heartbreak with that one but we need to keep going first season in europe let's hope we can win that the first time but thank you very much for joining hit that like button drop a comment down below and think about subscribing to the channel to keep up to date and i'll see you all next time Cheers.